welcome. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about the slipper socks that I was telling you about. And the pattern number is 6836. And they're this right here. Better. Uh, view F. They only have three pattern pieces. There's one, two, and a long one, three. That's it. So I decided that I would make them with a quilted bottom because uh, according to the pattern which I haven't read for a long time I've made these quite a few times they make a nice gift and <laughs> they don't look very pretty these are quite bright anyway I quilted the bottom which I thought would give traction because I'm worried about well they're slippery which can be fun, but if you didn't want to slip in them, because they're supposed to be like a slipper. So I added quilt bat in between and another layer of fleece. And I think it's a great gift. It's a good gift for people and anyone I've ever given them to, they just love them. So last year I got this, uh, it's called Sock Stop. I believe it's German. Made in Germany. And now I'm going to move it on you. Yes, it is. And there's not very many directions on it. And I was quite excited when I found this. Very expensive for this 100 milliliter bottle. It was $16.99. But it... Uh, I got it on sale. I didn't pay that for it or I wouldn't have bought it. Anyway, it shows in the picture on the bottom of the sock. And they had samples at the store where I got it. And I thought, well, that'll... You can make a pair of slipper socks that look professionally made with the stuff on the bottom. It comes in all kinds of different colors. And I don't like it. I don't think I like it. Anyway, I get white because I didn't know, so I could use it with everything. Anyway, last year I tried this and made some. It was a mess. I tried to just freehand it out of the bottle because that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, to draw a design on the bottom of the sock and it looked like a two-year-old did it. It was globby, it was big here, and it was a mess. Anyway, so my boyfriend suggested that I use a stencil. It's very smart. So I tried it, and it turned out okay. That's thread and cat hair. So, it stays on there. It says to apply it two or three times. I only did it the once. Because I knew if I tried to do it again, I'd make a mess. Because it's quite watery. Like, it's very runny. Like, it's like paint, but it's runnier. That makes sense. I don't think that's a word. Anyway, this one is thicker. But I don't think you can put it in the dryer. So whoever I give these to, they're going to put them in the dryer. So I don't know how long, and I think it'll pick right off. I'm not going to try to. So I don't know how long that's going to last. It's a good idea. Like, it's a brilliant idea. But I have a hard time getting that to work. Now it turned out I just used a quilting stencil. <laughs> Anyway, it washes off really well, thank goodness, because I don't want to ruin that. So, these ones, I just 
happen to have all this pink. I'm not a big fan of pink, but, and these look huge, but they're not really. Anyway, hopefully people will like those and I have to wrap them. So I had to get this video done so I can show you that. But I like the quilted version the best, I think. Quilting the bottom. And I just did it by machine and I didn't mark it or anything. I just, as you can tell, that it's not perfect. But I think that'll feel nice on your foot. So I guess I'll find out if anybody likes them this way or not with the either. And I lined both of the bottoms. I put quilt bat and another layer of fleece in the bottom. And I think an even better idea would be to put a dart here and here to give it some height because when you're adding more thickness to the bottom, of course this is stretchy so it's not going to matter, it's still going to fit your foot, but it might make it feel tighter in there. I can't, but it's quite, it pulls a little bit because I'm adding more layers. Or you could just cut it bigger, but it would be harder to get it to fit. But I think the darts, like a, a dart in here to give it some height would be better. But they are a very easy thing to make. And I don't know, let me know if you ever use this product and how you're supposed to use it. The stencil did work and it makes it look a lot better than than the uh, just trying to freehand it. I thought that I was a little bit artistic, but after using that, no, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, and if you're wondering what this is, I'm trying to make a sweater for myself to wear at Christmas. And the pattern, 7199, it's in the Paul's pattern. And I guess I'm making this one. I think this one and this one are exactly the same except for color blocking. And the fabric is, I got it quite a while ago. I have pies in the oven, that's my timer, I gotta go. Anyway, the, uh, I'm going to turn that off. Oh, there it goes. This is, uh, it's a stretchy, it's like a, a knit. It's stretchy and it's very sheer. I made a t-shirt that kind of matches to go underneath it. And it's, it has flex in it. I don't know what color you call it. It's kind of like a plum maroon. Uh, I don't know if you call that maroon. Anyway, it's hanging very nicely. It's not finished yet, so I'm still working on it. Trying to get ready for Christmas, which I'm sure all of you are, and I have to get all these things wrapped up and ready to go, because Christmas is almost here. So, I will wish you all a very Merry Christmas and hopefully we get to see you in the new year. So please leave a comment and thank you for watching and I will see you in the new year.